We got Vic Davis versus Scott Marler. Vic Davis out of BJJ Lifestyle Academy. Scott, Scott Marler out of Maelstrom BJJ Victory MMA. A couple big boys here. Strange hands. A couple big dudes here. I know Vic competed yesterday at the uh, submission only. Submission only. He should be warmed up. Should be ready. Should be warmed up. Really aggressive collar ties. Pulls guard. Immediately going for the neck. Nice pass to the side. Vic's gonna want to pull his hips away and try to get his knee back in. There he goes. Scott really aggressive from the top of half guard. Another pass attempt. Oh, nice Scott pass here from catches Scott. Catches it. Vic's got good hips though. Every time he gets near pass, he starts moving his hips out. It looks like Scott's locking this one up a little better though. That's good. Yeah, doing a good job flattening out Vic. Remember, submission only though, so he's not in too much trouble right now. So if he can just keep Scott on his toes on top, he'll be safe. And there he goes again, scooting his hips out again. Yeah, doing a good job shrimping, trying to regard. Yeah, try to reach up for more there. Yeah, to your point, Vic, Vic isn't in any sort of real danger right there from half guard. A little bit more now that he's just got mounted. Yeah, now the back opens up, you know, because if you get too, too comfortable hiding your arms, they can roll into your back, take your back. So now things are going to start opening. And he's gift wrapped now. So things Always start gift wrapped now. Look Here comes a back take. Yep. Ooh. Ooh, loose attempt. That was a loose arm bar attempt. He ended up on bottom. But I mean, props to him for going after it. Reset off the top. Let's see if Vic goes to pull again. Now yep. we only have so much room here. So these guys can't yeah. really wrestle a ton right now. I told Josh that. I told Josh I was looking to wrestle today. And then I saw the mat change my mind. It's like, uh, actually, we're not going to wrestle. I don't want Josh to eat me into the first row. <laughs> That'd be bad. <laughs> I got I my girlfriend here. It's going to be a bad day. <laughs> I, don't think, I, don't, I don't think the front row would like it. <laughs> some more fighting from half guard here. Scott's looking like he's trying to impose some very heavy pressure on top and maybe wear him out for a couple minutes. Um, he had a really, you know, a solid attack. But the rule is you have to have a deep submission. They have to actively defend to get the point for the submission. Yeah, so for, still zero zero. Yeah, for all the listeners, the rules set here. We're, we're very much trying to encourage uh, submissions and a lot of activity. So it's it's submission only with a kind of a hybrid submission only. Yeah, yeah. So obviously submission will win it, but if you do get a very deep uh, submission attack where the opponent does have to, to actively defend it, they can be awarded a point for that. Yeah. Also, vice versa, if if somebody is stalling a lot. And, and you can get a point for that as well. So there's um, actually you see one ref on the mat. There's two more off the side that they everybody has to agree with the points. So it's kind of a, a keep safe system, not to get bad calls, things like that. Refing is hard. Refing super hard. I don't like it. Sometimes people get things wrong, and you know when you're on the outside, it's, it's sometimes it's easier to see those things. Yeah. You, know, you got a different vantage point. You're not really in the mix as much where you're yeah. thinking all the time. I, I, have you ever messed up a match refing? I have. Oh, absolutely. Dude. <laughs> kids Dude. matches especially. Dude. Oh, those, I'll be messing up kids those matches. Those are so tough. Those are so tough. Uh, but yeah, hopefully with this rule system, we're encouraging action. Um, if it does, if it is a tie or draw at the end of regulation time, there is no overtime. We will go to the judges for yeah. a decision. Best of three. So I would say Scott's probably comfortably ahead on the judges right now, about halfway through the match. Um, again, he's wearing them down with top pressure. Very active half guard faction, which I always like to see. Some people just trying to hang on half guard. Um, but this is nice. Yeah, no, doing a lot of good work here. Scott's very active. Vic's doing a great job, you know, not sitting in any of these positions, not just laying on his back, yeah, he's being held there. Actively trying to regard. He needs to throw some attacks to kind of get Scott to back up on the pressure because all he's doing right now is reset, and then Scott's going back forward pressure and passing again. Yeah, look for Scott to. I thought Scott was going to try to climb that and go straight to mount. It's always good when you see some people passing both ways, so two way passing is always a plus. Rest gonna stop it, reset them here in the middle. Here, here's the problem though. If Scott's comfortable sitting in side control and say 10 seconds left, he's dominated the match, 
Vic throws on a submission, he has to defend. He lost the match. Yeah. So he, he needs to get busy here. That, that is a real a real fear for people. Yeah, you can't you can't just hold the position. Yeah, or or if he sits here in side control without moving, you know the ref might hit him with a negative. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of a lot of options still. Like he's dominated the match so far, but this can still go either way. Yeah, I mean he's he's very much been in control for the entirety of, of this match so far. Um, but he hasn't really he hasn't really attacked any submissions yet. Yeah. Which honestly, we 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 could end up running into that maybe a little bit. You're gonna see probably greater positional battle battles yes. as the level gets higher. Yes. Nice nice step to mount here. This is where I'd like to see him get a nice attack in to really solidify his dominance in the match so far. Vic's being smart with his arms. Looks like he's going for Nogi Ezekiel of some sort, you know. Yep, there he goes again. Got one minute left here in regulation. This is where I try to go to kipping escape and get it on a leg if I was big. Something Hail Mary, last 30 seconds to get a point on the board. And maybe steal the match, you know what I mean? Josh, or, uh, not Josh. <laughs> um, Scott's doing a good job. He's trying to switch to S-mount here. Looks like he's probably going to try to attack an arm bar of some sort. Yeah, he's trying, he went He went to that well earlier in the match. He just couldn't, couldn't lock it up. These guys are starting to get more slippery, too, so. Yeah. This will be our first, first decision right here. Oh, yeah. I ain't mad about it. It's been a good match, so a lot of action. Lots of action. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, those guys came out heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I was, I mean, you always hope you get a lot of action, but. That was a lot. You just, you just never know. Yeah. I would say that's probably a pretty comfortable decision for Scott. Probably a pretty comfortable decision for Scott for Very sure. positional dominant. You had one attack that didn't get him a point, but it's still an attack, so I, I feel like it should be pretty easy. Yep. All the judges agree. Good fight. Unanimous decision. Scott Marler out of Maelstrom BJJ, Victory MMA. Beautiful, submit, uh, beautiful match there. Yeah, that was excellent. A very good half guard passing. Uh, used the body lock a lot, controlled the knees a lot, went to side to side. You know, he gift wrap got him the one submission attempt of the match and also solidified him winning there so that was good